In this episode, I'm gonna show you my fastest and the most advanced way to hide or remove distracting objects from your video and why I never use the standard patch replacer settings for that. So let's jump to our clips. By the way, I've added the link to my Google Drive in the description of this video, where you can download these clips and log profile and practice by your own. And this first one is the short clip from my latest YouTube video that I shot with my DJI Mavic 3 Pro. This clip is color graded already and I will not go deep in the grading process of these kind of shots in this episode. I will make my next episode about that and how to color grade these problematic drone shots with burned out sun and sun recreation in post. Today we'll talk about how to correct some areas and remove distracting objects using color tap. For example, if I would want to remove these people in the background, I would surely use patch replacer tool for that, but I would never use its standard settings. I will show you why in a minute. So in case to keep the process running faster, I would render this clip in place as an Apple ProRes 42 to keep the quality but not to slow down the playback with all these noise reductions and color grading notes. Ok, so let's switch to the color page and try to remove these guys from the background. I will use the native resolves effect that you can find in the library called patch replacer. Let's add this effect to the node. So standardly it gives you two windows. The one is source and the other one is destination. The source window takes an information from the place it's located on and adds this information to the destination window. Let's set the source window, make it smaller. Ok, let's go closer. Set our destination window on these guys. Then try to find the best place for the source window, so our destination could blend with the background seamlessly. Somewhere here. Make it a little bit smaller. Let's play with the variability to find the best spot and also blur the edges of our windows a bit. Not so strong, maybe like that. Ok, now let's go and choose the qualifier to hide these effect shapes and analyze how the replaced area looks. I still see this ugly oval shape here and I also know that this shot is moving, so I will have to also track this effort here, so it would move together with the camera. But first of all, I have to make it look invisible and believable, as there were no people at all. Ok, let's try to find a better replacer setting again, trying to find a better spot, maybe this or this. No, it doesn't do the perfect job for me here. There is still this visible replacer shape. Even if I change the edge blur or variability, it's still there. I can also check different fill-in methods, like clone or blend mask. No, you see, blend clone works better here, but not enough. Ok, so let's leave this node, just turn it off and create a new node with the process I usually use. So what I would do in this case? I would go to the power windows, would choose the pen selection tool and go draw the shape around an object I want to remove. Like so including their reflections too, something like that. Would go to the tracker, window tracker works better and more precise than effect tracker for me. Track them, ok, them are tracked perfectly now. Then drop patch replacer effect on this node and change its region shape to alpha channel, so it would affect my selected area only. Then I have to set the destination and source points, so drag the destination point to my window location. And also drag the source point to find the best place so the destination area would look in the best blend and invisible. Even like that, this replaced area looks amazing and seamless. I like it a lot. I would maybe go and soften my window a little bit, outside and a little bit inside, like so. Switch the qualifier again, scroll through my clip and you see, them are totally gone now. This patch replacer way looks super clean to me. I can also play a little bit with the variability, go maybe a bit higher here. Let's check it before and after. I'll go to the start of the clip and let's compare the first standard way and my preferred way of using patch replacer. This is the standard and this is advanced way. Again, standard and our advanced way. So this shot is looking perfect to me. I don't see any problematic places, great and believable. So this is my simple way to hide unnecessary or distracting objects. Ok, let's go to our timeline and take a look on the next shot. It would be this one with the car, let's play it. What I don't like here, because of the lighting direction, a small scratches on the front bumper of my charger became very visible. I didn't notice that on location, but saw them in post and them are very distracting, so let's make them disappear. I'll go to the color tab again, zoom closer add the same patch replacer tool, 
Standardly it works like that. I can make this shape smaller, but I cannot rotate it and so on, so it doesn't work here too. Even if I set to the clone setting and hide the shapes, it's still ugly circle here. Let's check blur slider. It doesn't really help here. So I will reset this node, we'll add the patch replacer again, we'll choose an alpha channel, navigate to my power window, select the pen tool again, and draw the shape. Let's go closer. I want to remove the scratches only, but not other reflections, something like that. Then go to an effect controls and set the source and destination points for this window. I want to take an information from this darker area, some way here. As you see, it works a bit strange here, so in this case I will choose a different fill-in method. Don't want it to blend, I want it to clone only, so I'll choose clone here. Now it looks like a dark shape. I'll go to the power window again and make it softer, so I don't get these sharp edges here. Scroll the clip to the start. Ok, I see the character is crossing my window. I'll just move my points back a little bit, like so. I don't want the replacer tool to be touching my character here. Ok, let's check if we still see this patch replacer as the black shape. It looks nice, but I still see a bit of hard transition from black to grey tone. I want to make it softer, so in this case I would go to the tracker, we'll choose the frame mode to control it manually, scroll back to the very start of the clip and add the keyframe here, then scroll the clip a bit forward, maybe somewhere here, and just move my window endpoints a bit and make the softer transition of the window, we'll go stronger outside, like so. Ok, let's check how it works, great! Let's hide the window shape and see the result of what we've done here. Before and after, before and after. Nice. If you feel it's too strong, you can always go to the global blend and reduce its strength, but I will keep it maximum power here. Ok, so let's watch both clips on the full screen. Thank you for watching, if you found this episode helpful, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have any questions, just drop me a comment below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!